Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Will and today I am super excited. We are taking a look at an all new line of travel trailer by Grand Design. This unit has such an awesome floor plan with a nice little bar. I'm so excited because it's so small, but they pack so much into it. This is the Grand Design Imagine AIM model 18BH. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside. Then we're gonna give you three things we love about it and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Again, today I'm so excited to take a look at this all new line. The AIM is a brand new 2023, um, new concept and everything that Grand Design is doing. And you guys know Grand Design always does so much cool and innovative and good stuff. So I'm really excited to check it out. And um, again, we've kind of been saying this all week, but if this is your first video recently, you may be wondering where Matt is. And he is um, out with Andrea recording right now. We are at RV dealer open house and there were so many units to hit here. We really had no choice other than to divide and conquer, which means I'm not behind the camera, but Jen is. Hi, Jen. Hey guys. How's it going? It is going good. It's a little chilly here um, yes. in Elkhart, but yes, we'll say we're here at dealer open house. And so um, I'm really glad actually that we're dividing and concrete because there are so many cool new floor plans um, and, and even like brand lines and stuff that's out that we get to check out and, and show it to you guys before it's really like out at the dealership. So yes. I'm super excited to look at this brand new Imagine AIM and um, yeah, I'm just excited just to go check it out. Cool, try to stay warm. I'm we'll, trying. We'll uh, start with the outside. Okay. So model is eight, well, it's Grand Design Imagine AIM model 18BH but the actual tip to tip length is 21 feet, 11 inches. Now again, guys, these are brand new. These are 2023 models and they've been holding them to release here. So we don't have all the specs as far as dry weight and hitch weight. When we go around the other side, hopefully we can get dry weight, but any other specs we'll put up on the screen. Yep. Uh, whatever we have, we'll be happy to share. Um, they got some decorations <laughs> here, so it's gonna got be the hard. the fall theme stuff. Yeah, but you got a power tongue jack up front, your propane uh, cylinders right there, batteries on the back. Nice aluminum front cap right here, and you do have the corrugated rock guard right there. Very nice. Coming down the side, really nice sidewalls here. Um, they, this is breaking into the smooth side for Grand Design. Nice pass-through storage there. Uh, manual stabilizing jacks underneath. And again, guys, this is um, really like a, a cool concept with them because they imagine it's really a good trailer, but they're also trying to hit a, a lower price point and a lower uh, weight, you know, towing weight yeah. as well. So you will see some features that you would normally see on an Imagine that aren't on this. Nice grab handle right here. You do have the solid steps there and then a nice big power awning on the outside, outdoor speakers. You'll notice, Jen, there's no slide outs on this side, which just makes for a really nice outdoor experience. Yeah. That's what camping's all about. And look at these tires, Jen. They are the Westlakes. I love those. ST 225-75 R16. 15. Oh, is it 15? Yeah, I know. The it did look six like a six similar. a little. It is a 15. Um, and all of these aims are single axle tires. Gotcha. Or single axle um, units, yeah. Um, also, I notice this unit is prepped for tire length. Very nice. So that's yes. your tire pressure monitoring system. Yep. And we're going to get that on our trailer hopefully soon, too. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I'm struggling is. with that. That's the uh, coax cable. Okay. That's weird that doesn't work. Right? Yeah, it's really tight. Okay. Uh, power there. So there's probably TV backers somewhere here. And then you nice. do have a small outside little kitchen, if you call it a kitchen. More like a little griddle a little here. little griddle, yeah. Very Which nice. I actually really like that. Yeah. And then coming around, I don't know if we're going to be able to get back here. Might have to maneuver. We can get back there. Okay. Can you step over? Yep. Eric, give me your hand. There you go. Okay. We're a little close. <laughs> Sorry, guys. You got it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Good job. Whew. All right, well. Okay. Coming around the back, you do have a small hitch. That one probably is not rated for 300 pounds. Uh, 150. Okay. 150 pounds. You got a little spray port there. And then it is prepped for a Furion backup camera, and you do have a ladder nice. to get up on the roof. Right over here, you got oh, some more nice. storage. More storage, that's really nice actually, it on is. something this size. Yeah. Great place to dump your uh, black and gray tanks, 
Furion. It looks like an instant tankless water heater. That's awesome. Yeah. Here is, let's see. They're not labeled. This might be potable. No, uh, I bet you that's your black tank flush. Oh, you're probably right. And that's probably your potable, right? Yeah, you're right. Sorry. This is potable. That's probably black tank flush or city water connect. Okay, maybe, yeah. But that's potable. Potable. <laughs> 30 amp unit. Here's your one slide here. Yep, one slide here. Storage for your stinky slinky right there. And then in here is the other side of your storage. See, that's you got satellite. Your You're right. So that's probably black tank flush over there. Yeah. And then this is city water or tank fill. Nice. And I'm actually like surprised that they, I mean, I know it's not like a full wet bay, but the fact that they did it in close yeah, wet bay in the storage so nice. for like a unit like this is nice actually. Right. And then like Jen said, the tire link there, outdoor shower and all that. Yep. Well, Jen, the outside of this unit looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. No skipping today. I don't even know. If yeah. I don't think you could safely skip. At least we can squeeze through. Yeah. <laughs> now the hay is a different question. Now the question. hay is in the way. <laughs> okay, it? yep. All right, I'm going to go in and show them okay. a little walkthrough. All right, so up front here we have your sofa Murphy bed set up. Kitchen over here. Your little bar dining area. Bunk beds over here. And then your bathroom in the very back. Okay, before we begin, let's give a quick shout out to our sponsor, Lippert. Matt's RV Reviews is proudly sponsored by Lippert. Did you guys know Lippert does so much more than axles and chassis? They actually make a whole bunch of RV lifestyle aftermarket products. I have three chairs that I wanna show you guys today. The first chair is the super popular zero gravity chair. This chair, you can lean all the way back, you can relax it, you can, you, you, you just feel like you're in space with zero gravity. It's an awesome chair, and I know that's one of the best sellers. Then there's my personal favorite, which is a traditional fold-up chair. What I do like is that the all four stay sturdy, but you can pitch the back back so you can lock into your favorite place. And then finally, Will's favorite chair, the Big Bear chair. This is good for all the big guys out there or anybody who just wants an extra large chair. Thank you so much to Lipper for sponsoring this video. We actually have links down below on where you can pick up some of these chairs. Let's continue the video. Yep. Thanks Lipper. So we're going to start up front right over here. You got some storage, like closet spa space on both sides, a couple of drawers. Now I can tell these handles are redesigned. What do you think? Um, I don't, I'm not, not like, your favorite, it's but not my favorite, not, but I still like either. them. Cool. Got that we, side. Yep. I'll more, work on this bed. Okay, more hanging storage space. Oh, maybe I'll work drawers. On this bed. Does it just? Oh, it's not okay. a so traditional that's, jackknife. So it's almost like the ones you see in the toy hall. It is, yeah. Okay, and then there's one latch over there. One latch. Murphy and bed then comes Murphy down. Bed comes down. See. This oh, is wow. awfully tight here, I will say, like, yeah, for getting would, in and yeah. out. So you're not going to want to put the bed down until you're ready, right. you know, basically to go to bed. Yep. Also, Will, up here there are some cubbies on each side of the bed with power and USB. Little reading lights. And then I actually really like this, like, accent light here. I do, too. Yeah, it's really nice. And I like those little lights for yeah. reading. Yeah. What's so cool is, like, they put a blue light, but then combined with the white light, right. it makes, like, purple on the it bed. It really does. That is cool. I didn't yeah. notice that at first. Cool. I'll put the Murphy bed back up so we have some room in here. Yep. And then... And while Will's doing that, I just want to show you guys this. Um, this really cool bar, like, dining setup. So they opted not to do a dinette in here. And um, so it's like more of a bar style. Right? It is. I like that a lot. What do you think? I like it too. I yeah. think it's nice because then you're like facing out of your campsite. Right. And it's kind of like just casual. Like it is. You just sit and have a like, meal. Like when or do we realistically yeah. sit at our table? You sit and have a meal or you sit and eat. Now one thing I will say is these bar stools look a little yeah, cheap. Yeah, they might need to be upgraded. I think if uh, I got this unit, I would get like some nicer bar stools to go I in. agree. That's an easy fix though. Yeah. You got some nice storage up top there. I do like that for your controls. Furion sound system, Logix TV, and then storage on the other side. Nice. And then, like Jen said, nice uh, down bar. Under, down under here, there's storage. Yeah, not super deep, but a little bit of storage. It goes yeah. all the way over there. Awesome. Very nice. Cool, Jen. Um, well, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for the, the MSRP. MSRP. 
And guys, you know we are at open house here, so we don't have MSRPs readily available. Um, and this is a brand new unit, so we may not be able to find it, but Jen has some magic tricks, and if she is able to find it, um, can you do some sort of I'll magic? I'll do like a little, like a abracadabra There right you here. go, Jen, always, MSRP. always doing your magic <laughs> tricks. <laughs> cool. cool. Um, and guys, remember, if you're interested in this unit or any other unit that we show, make sure to go to our website, mattsrvreviews.com, click one of the three tabs, and somebody from our team will get in touch with you, get you a great price, great service, and the best overall RV buying experience in the industry. Yep. Jen, you want to take it away with the kitchen? I would love to. Cool. Okay, so this is an interesting kitchen because this is such a small um, trailer. Yeah. So... First of all, it does feel like lower, like it these does. cabinets, but it's a shorter unit. Yeah. So we got some storage here. Definitely, like if you're shorter, no problem accessing this. Right. And then let's see, a Norcold refrigerator. Is this a 12 volt well? Probably is. It's almost like a mini fridge too, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. It's not. It's not huge. Um. But um, you know, I think it's okay for what we're working with here. Yeah. We got some storage up here. Okay. Little graystone hood range. And then they actually did just a two burner cooktop, which I don't know how I feel about that. I know it's like, it's a small unit, but at the same time, it's like, well, it's one of those, uh, I don't know. We'll talk about this later. Okay. okay? All right. I'll All save right. that for later, but a two burner graystone cooktop. And then we do have a high point, um, Ray, uh, no convection microwave down oh, here. Oh, nice. So you don't, you don't have an oven. So it's like you'd be a convection microwave and then a little bit of storage there. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um, up here, more storage. Nice. This is a cool little kind of backsplash it look. It is, yeah. A little different. Um, nice countertop here, and we do have a Dometic, Dometic sink. Cool, cool. Um, I don't know what you call this style. Like, like a right, pool I do. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I do like how it goes down though, because it is such a small kitchen. Yeah. Like it just gives you that added counter yeah, space. Yeah, and it's like easy. Like you don't have to get the big sink. Yeah. Out. Storage under there. Here's what I found. Oh. Oh Siri, shut up. And then we got some drawers here. Okay. A couple small drawers. Okay. And I think that wraps up the kitchen well. I think so. Cool. So we will do these bunks. Well, this might be part of the kitchen. This is just kind of, I think, Black universal space. Yeah. space. yeah. So oh, cool. actually, probably not as much the kitchen as much as like um, dresser, drawer yeah. space, bath. But I mean, stuff. you can really make it whatever you want. You really can, yeah. If you want half pantry, mm. half wardrobe, yeah. you could do it. Up top here, we have, um, well, here and underneath, we have two beds, uh, single over singles, uh, but really nice size, you know, not too narrow or anything for a single size bed. Yep. Um, there yep. is USB here. You want me to do a size fit? Like well, that, that, that one's pretty tight, but. This one? I just want to see like height wise. Okay. Okay, Careful so I'm 5'5", five five and um, I fit in fine. Awesome. So yeah. Thanks, Jen. You're welcome. Watch your head. There you go. All right, you want to do the shower test well? Yeah, I thought you were going to say, do you want to do that? <laughs> yeah, I want to no. do a bunk test. We should start having you do the bunk test. Yeah. <laughs> like, I can't even get in them. Okay, like, I'm not going to, I I can't pass it. Yeah, it's pretty tight. But it is, you know, like, they did a good job for what they're working I with. I will say, honestly. I like the retractable do door like over that. a curtain. Yeah, again, it's just it's just a small unit. It's just one of the, yep. you know, one of the things that comes with it, yep. honestly. So, okay. And then what I want to show is, so here's the toilet, here's the sink. This, I, when I first came in here, I was like, what the heck is this? Right. This is a fold-up sink. Um, so you I can, like that a lot. I like this because here's the thing. Matt always says like, oh, why are they putting sinks in these really small bathrooms? But some people do like to wash some their bathroom hands away from the kitchen. Right. So like you still get that, but it's not taking, like really cutting away from your space yeah. in the bathroom. So I actually think it's a cool concept. I do and too. if you don't need it, then it's out of the way. Yep. All right, Jen, you ready to do the toilet test? I am ready. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. I actually was not Grand expecting design. that. I know, I almost thought it looked like porcelain. It did. It was deceiving. Well, guys, I can't pass it because it is plastic. I will say, hold on. Close this door. It is a doable poopable. Okay. But not a prime pooping position. All right. Womp, 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 womp. I know. All right. I can get that. Okay, oh, well. Maybe I can, it feels. Just leave it. Yeah. 
All right, guys. Well, that's it. That's the review. But before we go, it is now time for three things we like and three things we dislike. Jen, what should we do first? Let's do the three things we dislike first. Okay, cool. I've got at least one. You want me to go first or do you have one ready? Um, I have one, but you can go first. Okay. One thing that I dislike a lot, I talked about earlier, is how that bed comes down. There's no hardly any access. Yeah. Um, truthfully, my family, my dogs are the most important to me. And I always think of in case of an emergency. And it's just like that Pretty would nervous, be really, yeah. really hard it would. for me to get out and just who knows what's happening in an emergency if I had to help others get yep. out. You know I what agree. I mean? I agree. Um, cool. Number okay. two. Okay, number two is going to be a little bit of a combo. So number one, I don't like the toe kicker here. Okay. We never like that. I wish it was flush floor. Yeah. And I have to say, I wish, I know it's a little tight, but given the fact that you don't have room to put a cutting you board don't. here. So it's like, just give me the four burner. Three top, burner. Or, or three burner. Yeah. yeah. That's what I mean. It's like, just give me the three burner. Um, Cause it's like, I can't put a cutting board here anyway. So yeah, that and the toe kicker is my second dislike. Yep. And I'm going to piggyback off of you for my third dislike. Okay. Um, and that is, you talked about it earlier. This is way too low for me to yes. cook. Um, truthfully, Jen cooks a lot at our house, but I do like cooking every now and then. Yeah. And it would just be hard for me to cook in here. Yep. So very low. Yep. Cool. Well, that's three things we dislike. Now it's time for three things that we love about it. You want to go first this time? Yeah, I'll go first. This okay. is a lot easier for me. It so, is. Yeah. Um, first of all, I love this, um, bar dining concept. I do too. Uh, I think that more manufacturers are kind of going over to stuff like this because honestly, people eat outside a lot. And so right. this is kind of nice because it opens up this floor plan a lot. It does. I mean, you don't have um, the dinette sticking out. And, and it's just kind of nice. You sit out, you know, look out the window. I feel like I would sit here, have a coffee or eat or work on my laptop. And it's kind of just like a flex table space. And so I really like that. Cool. I would agree with that. Do you have a like? Um, I do, I think. I'm going to go with, even though it's kind of weird and kind of small, I actually really like this couch setup. Because the jackknife sofas are so uncomfortable. This is just so much better and it looks nicer. Yes. It still folds down the way it needs to. Um, so from just the couch aspect, again, I'm not crazy about the Murphy, but I do like that couch setup. Yes. Did we show the storage under these? Oh, I, don't I think, think we did. I didn't even notice it before. So we've got two big Deep doors. So doors. that actually is where you can put a lot of clothes for like whoever's, yeah. you know, the main couple that's yep. in here. Very nice. And I Was that number two? That was number two. Okay. Do you, do you have, have a number third? Number third. Now you're doing it. <laughs> I'm so. And used you to, hate that. I hate it, but I'm so used to hearing <laughs> guys. Does anyone else pick up on whenever Matt says number th number three, he says number third. Right. And I'm like, it's either number three or it's third. It's not yeah. both. But now I'm picking up on I it. I know, and you. She used to complain to me all the time. Oh, I hate it when he says that. <laughs> well, I hear it so much. It's I like know. ingrained in my brain. Okay, number three. There you is go. I, I like this bathroom. Like, for how small it is, I think that they did a decent job with the shower. I like how it's not a huge step up. I like the retractable door. Mm -hmm. And then most of all, I think that um, that this sink was a cool concept. I've never seen this before. And I, I just think it's nice because for the people who want a sink, they have one. But if you don't, it's not, like, in the way, like, messing up your toilet position. And right. So, I agree. Nice. Cool. Oh, I do want to say, I kind of have a fourth like if you I could do add it in. yeah I just, don't know the bylaws Jen <laughs> just, a, really... like, just a bonus like okay all right all is right. for how small this is there was a lot of storage on the outside right you know you got that pastor was. in the front and then mm -hmm. that second area that's underneath this bunk so I just want to add that in I thought it was pretty good for being a real small travel okay. trailer sounds good cool. well guys that's it thank you again all so much for watching and um make sure to leave down in the comments below no that's Jen's line sorry I'm so used <laughs> to saying my part um Make sure if you're interested in this unit or any other unit to go to our website, mattsreviewreviews.com, fill out one of the three contact forms and somebody from our team will reach out to get you a great price, great service and the best overall RV buying experience in America. Jen, do you have anything you wanna to say to America? Yeah. Yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching and being patient with us. Will and I are a little new to doing these reviews all on our own, but we're trying to do a good job and show you guys a lot of the cool new units that are out at the open house this year. Uh, make sure to leave down in the comments below three things that you like and dislike about this new Imagine AIM travel trailer. And um, we will hopefully be hitting some more of these as they come out. There are a couple other floor plans here, but I just think it's a cool new line from Grand Design and I'm excited to see what they do with it. Thank you guys uh, so much for watching and uh, we'll see you next time. Yeah, Bye, see you guys. guys. Bye.